Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about the selection of attributes for the different different techniques. Attribute subset selection is a technique which is used for data reduction in a data mining process. Data reduction reduces the size of data so that it can be used for the analysis purpose more efficiently. Need of attribute subset selection. The data set may have a large number of attributes, but some of those attributes can be irrelevant or redundant like we are seeing in the data reduction video. The goal of the attribute subset selection is to find the minimum set of attributes such that dropping of those irrelevant attributes does not much affect the utility of a data and the cost of a data analysis could be reduced. Mining on the reduced data set also makes the discovered pattern easier to understand. The process of attribute subset selection. First is brute force approach can be very expensive in which subset 2 raised to n possible of the data having n attributes can be analyzed. Next, the best way to do the task is to use a statistical significance test such as a best attribute can be recognized. A statistical significance test assume that the attribute are independent on another. This is a kind of greedy approach in which a significance level is decided like statistically ideal value of a significant level is percent 5 and the model are tested again and again until the p-value that is probability value of all the attributes is less than or equal to the significance level like we can say till 5%. The attributes having p-value higher than the significance level are called are get discarded. This process is repeated again and again until all the attributes in the data set has a p-value less than or equal to the significance level. This gives us a reduces data set having a no irrelevant attributes. Some methods of attribute subset selections. First is stepwise forward selection. Second is stepwise backward elimination. Third is combination of forward and back backward elimination. Fourth is decision tree induction. All the above methods are greedy approaches for an attribute subset selection. Stepwise forward selection. This process starts with an empty set of attributes as the minimum set and the most relevant attributes are chosen like having minimum p-value are added to the minimal set. In each iteration, one attribute is added to the reduced set. Second is stepwise backward elimination. Here, all the attributes are considered in the initial set of attributes. In each iteration, one attribute is eliminated from the set of attribute whose p-value is higher than the significance level. Third is combination of forward and backward elimination. The stepwise forward selection and the backward elimination are combined so as to select the relevant attributes mostly efficiently. And this is the most common technique which is generally used for the attribute selection. Fourth is decision tree induction. This approach uses decision tree for an attribute selection. It constructs a flowchart like structure having a nodes denoting a test on an attribute. Each branch corresponds to the outcome of a test and a leaf node is a class prediction. The attribute that is not the part of a tree is considered the irrelevant or discarded. So, in this video, we have seen some selection attribute techniques which we can follow to perform a data reductions. Thank you.